10 behind the scenes secrets from Puss in Boots The Last Wish. Puss in Boots The Last Wish, the recent animated movie of DreamWorks and Universal that has revived the animation studio in the most iconic and legendary way possible. Puss in Boots 2 is the definition of the best animated movie, from the main character's quest, tales, and adventures that will make you laugh, to the amazing storyline full of deep moral stories and layers that make us see how perfectly made this movie is. Of course, being Puss in Boots, this movie is full of everything, but above all, it's it's incredibly funny. It's incredibly funny scenes shine from all of their glory. Puss in Boots The Last Witch has been a massive success all over the world, and it's not strange to see why. Puss in Boots 2 is probably the animated movie with the most well-made, fun, and enjoyable antagonists in years. This incredible characters are the big bad wolf whom we all liked while watching the movie, the fun Goldie, and the absolutely reckless and goofy three bears. Live in a huge mark in the movie that makes you want to watch the third one after finishing the second movie. A great Great landscape, an animated world that has the most beautiful, shining, and stunning graphics that make everything more enjoyable to watch. The world of Puss in Boots The Last Wish is full of mystery, wonders, shining colors, beautiful scenes, and a mix of fun and maturity. One thing that we were all impressed by in this movie is how much Puss in Boots has matured. Puss in Boots The Last Wish tells us the story of Puss in Boots exactly after the end of the last movie. Here Puss in Boots starts going into an adventure spree where he recklessly starts burning through his nylon lives in the most funny ways possible. But he then comes to the realization that he has burned through 8 of his 9 lives and he is one life away from going to the other side. Because of this, he starts off a new quest to find the last wish and start back again with his original 9 lives. In the process, he meets amazing characters like Perito, the Bad Wolf, and Goldie, and the Three Bears, and many more characters that make the story a lot more enjoyable to watch. But as with any movie, there are many behind the scenes secrets that you definitely didn't see and you missed from Puss in Boots the Last Wish, behind the scenes secrets that will shock you and make the story more enjoyable to watch, like how the characters were made, the CGI effect secrets, the green screens, and many more. So without further ado, let's get straight into the 10 behind the scenes secrets you missed from Puss in Boots The Last Wish. Let's go guys! One of the aspects that makes this movie incredible and special is the very distinct animation that the directors and animators gave it. Puss in Boots The Last Wish has a different kind of animation from the first movie and the past movies of DreamWorks like Shrek or Madagascar for example. Puss in Boots 2's animation is very special because it was created mimicking comic art, basically a similar one to the one we saw in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. In the new graphics of Puss in Boots 2, they wanted to represent the essence of the classic fairy tale stories in the big screen, but this wasn't easy for the studio and moreover for the director. When you try to innovate in the big screen in a new way that you want to be a visual jewel, you're basically playing with a disadvantage since you don't know if the audience are going to like it or not. So it gives you a lot of pressure from the studio and the viewers, which is exactly what happened to the director of Puss in Boots the Last Wish, Joel Crossford. Him and his team redefined the limits of animated CGI to levels never seen before. They took advantage in the new advances in CGI technology to give this movie such a special and magical touch to introduce this fairy tale world adaptation in a fresh new way. Let's see an example of this right now. To see what they wanted to achieve in this scene, it's similar to what happened when we saw Shrek for the first time. When we saw it for the first time, we all thought, oh my god, this looks very realistic. Well, with Puss in Boots The Last Wish, we thought, it's an amazing movie. How realistic colorful and fun this movie looks. This is because in the Puss in Boots 2 movie, they went back to the beginnings where the characters were only an artistic version written in digital form. An example of this is Bambi and its watercolor landscapes. It was beautiful and it didn't have to look realistic to be beautiful. In Puss in Boots 2, the director didn't want to focus on the cliche that all animation studios are focusing on right now, on realism. He wanted to focus on making this movie an animated visual masterpiece that would stand above all the most realistic animated movies. Here I show you how the animation were made, and we can see why this movie was so amazing. It was great because it mixes the most advanced CGI technology and 3D graphics with the most basic 2D artistic animations. Together, this mix created such a visual spectacle for us to watch. Another example is in this scene here, where they removed the blur movement effect to make it look more artistic and distorted, which made it look way better in the end as we can see. On top of this, they drew all the characters like Perito by hand, using 2D techniques on top of the lighting done previously by CGI. The result was an absolutely stunning scenery that makes everything more lively and beautiful to watch. Helped by the modern technology, they made every handmade painting look amazing, and then they combined the CGI animation on top of it to make it look incredibly smooth. They elaborated an amazing visual effect where they first created the most original watercolor backgrounds, taking the old animated movies like Bambi as a reference, and then they added the characters' layers on top of it to make an original hybrid of visual effects that basically shines from its detail and fun look. 
This movie is about appreciating and living your life to the fullest because basically it's the only one you've got. I know it's such a cliche concept, but this movie represented it in such an amazing, original, and fresh way that it made us like everything about it instantly. This may be an overused topic, but the way Puss in Boots 2 The Last Wish portrays it, it's completely different and exciting. When we immerse ourselves in the movie, we basically live in the skin of Puss, and we accompany him in his fear of the wolf, who only him and us can see. Nobody else in the movie can see him besides us and him, and this changes of tone in the movie is represented by the different colors used between the happy scenes and the dark scenes, and also how the rhythm of the movie changes in chilling moments. Again, to see an example of this, let's see a scene at the beginning of the movie where we see Puss in Boots knocking down the beast. Puss in Boots feels like the winner, rightfully so. In his own words, he's a legend. But if we take a close look at the rhythm of the movie in this scene, we see that it's accelerated and the movie feels fun. Also, if we look at the illumination of the scene, we note that it's very bright and colorful. But at the same time, in this other scene where Puss in Boots puts a sword right inside the nail of the beast, we can see that the background turns yellow and we see streaks of light on it. And this basically shows us the reaction and feeling of the character during that moment. The movie is essentially making us connect and feel the character's moments in such a perfect and fresh way that we've never seen before in an animated movie. We can see this many times throughout the movie, but what also needs to be highlighted here as well is like I said before at the beginning of the movie, they first drew Puss in Boots in 2D to then use the illumination technology to make the scenery look more realistic, fresh, and old school, as we see in the final version of the movie. Also, the beast in this scene was painted first with oil. They later added the CGI to make its texture look smooth, like we see at the end of the movie. It's absolutely beautiful and a visual masterpiece. If I try to explain all the details of the characters and the movie, and how these mixtures were used to make this movie look as great as we see in the end, I would never finish this video, honestly. It's just a masterpiece in all of its glory. But the reason why I'm explaining this is to show you how all of these colors and fun tone change right when Puss in Boots realizes that he's living his last life. And even more when we reach the scene where he encounters the end in the face of the wolf face to face. And to be honest guys, I think like every single one of you guys, the wolf scenes were the best scenes of the entire movie. The whole movie was a masterpiece, but the wolf scenes were just something else. His entrance was spectacular. The creation of this character also required a lot of work as with Puss in Boots. And the point that I wanted to make here is whenever the wolf hits Puss in Boots, the scenery and environment turns completely red, black, and white, and it gives it that special touch that it's a visual show. This, accompanied by beautifully and perfectly timed slow motion, makes everything even better. And what do I have to say about the background music? The clash between the swords, the step of the wolf when he comes out from the dark for the first time, each breath taken by Puss in Boots and the wolf is felt by everyone who is watching the movie. In the big screen, this movie is incredible. It's an amazing feeling that I haven't been able to feel in an animated movie in such a long time, and I think you guys can agree with me on that. This feeling is increased by this incredible graphic background made with pure oil, but retouched to perfection by the new 3D technology. And this is basically telling us that DreamWorks is reinventing itself with new and original styles after a big amount of bad movies released in this past year. If they're taking this route, DreamWorks will sure be on the top animation studios again, because it's just wonderful to watch such an incredible visual show like this, where the focus is not the overused and overvalued realism, but to make it special in its own way. A way that we have never seen, but sure shocked us in such a great way. The character's design in the movie is absolutely a masterpiece. Here I show you the detail that Goldie has in her hair. Again, it was made using oil art, also throughout all of her clothes. And also, Perito is a work of art in its entirety especially his eyes as we can see here, the scenery is unique. The colors, the paint, the 2D designs with the 3D are simply artistically amazing. The wonderfully made scenes of the mirrors, they are beautiful, especially the detail we see when he breaks them. And finally, the last battle between the wolf and Puss in Boots is pure art. Every sequence, every clash, everything of these scenes are an absolutely wonderful masterpiece. Everything about these scenes is amazing. Well, my guys, that's all the dose of DJ there is for today. I really hope you guys liked this video and liked all of these secrets you missed in the behind the scenes from Puss in Boots The Last Wish. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one, my guys. Peace!